Welcome. Uh, this question says what would be the orbital period in Earth years of a planet if its orbit radius was seven, astro seven astronomical units. Uh, astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the average distance because it's not always perfectly constant. We're actually closest to the Sun in the Northern Hemisphere's winter time rather than the summer time. So um, we take into account the radius of the orbit is if you like is the sun and here's my planet and the period is how long it takes to go around one so t equals orbit period and Kepler Kepler uh, worked with Tycho, Tycho Brahe um, Kepler basically took the data that Tycho Brahe and his assistants had collected over a lifetime of, of doing uh, uh, naked eye uh, measurements on the position of the planets relative to the stars and was able to and was able to um, basically figure out the mechanics of the solar system and it, you know it strikes me as the most amazing thing it's like it's like going to the teacup ride at Disney turn all the lights out apart from the lights on the rides and then sitting on a teacup that's spinning and revolving looking at other teacups that are spinning and revolving figure out the equation <laughs> and it's you gotta say it's the most amazing thing um, but one of the one, well, three Kepler's laws and one of the laws basically Kepler's third law says that the period squared is equal to some constant times the orbital radius cubed. It's a very unusual relationship. We don't often see a combination of things squared and things cubed. And it turns out what's even nicer is if we work in Earth years and we work in astronomical units, which is the Earth's on distance, because it takes us one year to go around at our astronomical uh, uh, unit separation, which is one, 1 squared equals 1 cubed if k equals 1. So if we're in Earth years, and if we're working in astronomical units, that's the distance between the Sun and the, uh, and the Earth, then k is equal to 1. If we're not, if we're working in seconds and meters, then k is another value and we've got to work it out or we've got to be given it. So in this case, we say, well, it's asking uh, um, what would be the orbital period. So we can say, well, tk, uh, t squared is equal to 1 times 7 cubed. So t is equal to the square root of 7 cubed, which equals, uh, let's have a look, it's going to equal, well, 7 carat 3 would equal 343, so I want the square root of 3, well, let me, let me make sure I put down my square root, so I want my uh, second square root, second answer, and that would be 18 point five two let my numbers run on as I normally do earth years so there's my answer so it turns out although it takes us only one year to go around the Sun as we move further out into the solar system it takes longer and longer and longer Neptune just to give you a, an idea Neptune is about 30 astronomical units from uh, the Sun so if you like work out how long it takes Neptune to go around the Sun and um, you will not live for an entire orbit I'll tell you that much so there we have it